Jay Shetty is a British-born Indian host, storyteller, filmmaker, motivational speaker, and viral content creator. The award-winning monk-turned-social media influencer has also partnered with several multinational corporate houses and media organizations across the world. Since childhood, Jay was inclined toward philosophy and philanthropic activities. Jay was born on September 7, 1987, in London, UK. He is a British national of Indian origin. While growing up, Jay was shy and introverted, but had a positive perspective toward life. He has been making efforts in bringing positivity to people around him since childhood. Jay was an overweight nerd in school and was thus bullied on several occasions. However, he never let it affect him in any manner. In his teenage years, Jay displayed a keen interest in finding his identity and his purpose in life. Unfortunately, his adventures got him suspended from school a few times. At the age of 16, a tragic incident made a profound impact on Jay's mind. This eventually increased his urge to find the meaning and purpose of life. He lost two of his best friends, one in a car accident and the other in gang violence. Jay is a first-class BSc, Hans. Graduate from Casp Business School London, with a major in behavioral science. Following his graduation, at the age of 22, Jay traveled across India and Europe and began living as a monk. Jay had earlier met a monk who had inspired him to dedicate his life to serving people and to make a positive difference in their lives. He was 18 then. He had then decided to live a life devoid of the allure of power, fame, and money. After he went to live as a monk in India, he stayed there for three years, helping people in establishing sustainable villages. He volunteered for many food distribution programs and coached several young minds across the world about consciousness, well-being, and success. Jay gave up all his fancy clothes for robes, shaved his head, and lived in a gym locker. He would meditate for several hours a day. Jay experimented with ways to survive without food and water. He trained his mind and body to deal with extreme conditions. Jay also learned the ancient practice of controlling one's mind and breathing movements. As a monk, Jay studied the timeless philosophies and sciences of the East. He would spend half of his day focusing on personal growth and the other half focusing on philanthropic activities. When Jay went back to London with his parents, he had no money or career. He spent the next nine months there learning about the world he had left behind long back. His friends from business school began inviting him to their companies to deliver speeches on internal wellness. Jay began his career as a motivational speaker. He started sharing his experiences as a monk at universities and multinational corporate houses. He has delivered speeches at Google L'Oreal Facebook Coca-Cola HSBCA Microsoft Accenture and Nasdaq. After appearing as an orator at universities and corporate organizations for a while, Jay decided to reach out to a wider audience and to people who were unable to meet him in person. Hence, he launched a self-titled YouTube channel in September 2013. The channel hosts several motivational videos focusing on various aspects of life and human behavior. The channel has over 3.6 million subscribers. He also has an Instagram account that has earned over 6.9 million followers to date. In 2016, he won the ITV Asian Media Award for the best blog. In 2017, Jay was featured in the 2017 edition of Forbes 30 Under 30 for his remarkable achievements as a motivational social media influencer. Here are some of the most valuable life lessons from Jay Shetty. 1. Break free from your social media addiction. There's always been a way in which consumerism and capitalism will constantly try to bombard you, Shetty says. We can sit here and complain about it or be upset about it. But guess what? Social media is not going away. So what are we going to do about it? Many people are slaves to their mobile phones, and this is bound to lead to poor mental health as well as physical ailments. Many people are quick to shrug this off, but at what cost? 2. Learning to let go of our expectations of others. Resentment is the greatest murderer of compassion, happiness, love and forgiveness. A person who spends all their time resenting others for what they did is wasting their own time, unaware of how detrimental it is to their own health. This forces one into a loop of negative thinking and deters growth, happiness and success in the end. This is what Jay Shetty has to say about this. We should learn to accept apologies that we have never received, he says. Sometimes we are expecting an apology from them because we haven't gotten an apology from ourselves for getting caught up with them in the first place. 3. Slow down. Giving yourself space and time can actually lead to the birth of more creativity, better creativity, and some of your best work, Shetty says. If we don't choose to intentionally slow down and stop being in a rush, your body and mind will force you to do it anyway. 4. Get out and try new things. If I wanted to learn how to race a speed car, I'm not going to go and race with Formula One drivers. 
I'm going to go to a beginner's class Shetty says. Many people give up before they even start simply because it forces them to step out of their comfort zone. Shetty urges people to try new things or else how would they even know what they like. 5. Face your fear of judgment. If you fit in and go with the flow, people will call you a pushover and a follower he says. But if we stand out and we do our own thing, people will call us a rebel and an attention seeker. The point is, anything we do will always be judged. 6. Identify your source of procrastination ask yourself, do I find this thing boring, annoying, arduous, ambiguous, unstructured or lacking in purpose? Shetty asks. Procrastination continues to be one of the greatest problems of humankind when it comes to accomplishing goals, completing tasks, etc. It is crucial to identify the source to break the cycle. 7. Identify motives behind your decisions. We wouldn't know the value of cars if they didn't have names on them Shetty says. Are we making decisions based on what we are looking for and what is important to us or what is attractive when comparing? All our decisions are based on something whether it is positive or negative. Shetty proves that everyone can and should think like a monk. Shetty transforms them into advice and exercises we can all apply to reduce stress, improve focus, improve relationships, identify our hidden abilities, increase self-discipline, and give the gifts we find in ourselves to